came back after Divine Mercy Sunday, and uh, within that first week, um, you know, there were at least six, five or six different people that um, had it, you know, close to me that had experiences that um, are the kind of things that we hope, you know, one of those we would pray for for a lifetime to happen. Um, so these are the people whom you brought uh, with you here in your heart and whose intentions you had written down and all of these prayers which you brought to Divine Mercy Sunday. Yeah, it was just, just, some, of the, just some of the people. Okay. Um, but still, and, and I kind of reflected that just one of these would have been enough to make the whole trip worth it. For instance, my brother-in-law, he, um, uh, and that was uh, what was amazing was he was back in, you know, the States at church in, in, uh, on Divine Mercy Sunday while I was here. And he talked about how he was just very discouraged and, and, and sitting at Mass again. It was a, he was let down that it was another dull and uninspiring Easter. And, and, um, and then something just clicked and uh, the something he, he was, he said all these crazy thoughts were going through his mind and he thought he was going insane. And he said, I felt like I was parallel worrying about this and worrying about that. Um, and then he heard, looked up and heard the Father say something about mercy. And, um, and then this calm just, he explained like a calm took over him and, and he was in this peace that he never felt. And then uh, went home that day and uh, he was so, I can't really explain it, but he was just, um, he, he went and went in to change clothes in the closet and ended up just sitting in there um, crying and, and crying and just kind of letting everything out. It was like everything had been built up, but he said he was aware of saints and angels around him. And, Sounds like a lot of healing and a lot of purification for him. Yeah, he was, and he, his words to me were like, he said, it felt like God just came down there and lifted this like anchor off of me or something off of me that was separating me from him. And, and uh, um, you know, he called me after that, wanting to know about Divine Mercy Sunday, wanting to know about Anne and the trip here, because he said he felt like it was somehow connected. So he's wanting to know, and, what did you do for me? What did you, yeah, 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 and, and uh, we talked, we had, a, I remember, a two-hour phone conversation talking about God the whole time, and that right. was um, amazing in of itself. And um, so he, uh, uh, that, it was just very exciting, you know, that, that somebody was all of a sudden waking up. Now, we went back, and uh, what I thought was, what struck me about his story was, um, we, Kate and I went back and watched the DVD of Anne in Ireland that we shot the, here the first time we were here. And that was one of the uh, things that Anne had said was that people will come here and have baggage removed that they don't know is there and stuff, whatever that's holding them and separating them from God. And, um, and I think it was, I mean, my, my brother-in-law had used almost the same exact wording about what happened to him there right. as what Anne had said. And that really struck me. So the obstacles that are in the lives of, in, well, in all of our lives would be removed so that we might work towards further conversion. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's exciting to watch him now. He's, he's now leading the family in prayer and the family rosary and just, he's eating things up reading. He began reading the diary of St. Faustina, named his next baby after, after St. Faustina. Right. And um, the, the, it's just been, that, that was a tremendous grace. But that was just one. There, there was my wife. Uh, Kate was really um, uh, struggling with you know, discouragement and depression. And, and, um, and that was one of the things that I prayed for for her was to be encouraged and to be uplifted. And she was not noticeably uh, changed and feeling uh, encouragement when I came back. And she, again, said she felt like it was definitely related to my trip. Right. Um, and uh, saw a connection. And I think the, the powerful thing about to hear that from you know, my wife and from other people when they're saying we th think there's a connection is these are people that were skeptical. And they're the ones drawing the conclusion and coming to right. making the connection. Right, right. Um, and uh, so that was, uh, that was interesting. Then I had a, um, another, um, I'll just say a close friend whose uh, husband of uh, nearly 40 years, um, she called me and said he's 
you know, something's happened. He's all of a sudden come back and, and a, a new man, he's helping out, uh, doing things around the house and, and um, uh, you know, uh, chores and things that, uh, he, you know, to the people that know this couple, I mean, to hear that was almost like, well, what's, what is a greater miracle? You know, Moses parting the Red Sea or this happening, this seemed more of a, uh, a bigger miracle. Um, and that was, so that kind of blew us away as well. So he as yeah. well was exhibiting the fruits of prayer for him and conversion graces. Yeah, and, 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 it's, and even knowing it today, it's not, it just started a change. You know, process. It's it's not like these people all everyone's in different paths, but it was something that was a significant event. I mean, he's still, you know, struggling like everyone. Still every doing one of his us. work. He's but he has begun, which is the important. There, there was a, there was a change that seemed yes. slight. Yes. Uh, but you know, it seems that it's in God's time. Yes, um, always. And um, there was uh, also um, another uh, friend who uh, worked with me in business, and. Um, he had just come into the church that Easter, um, but uh, and he'd been kind of a Catholic, um, but never fully engaged. And that week, I was uh, talking to him on the phone. It was—I remember it was that Friday morning, and it was—we uh, were having a cell phone conversation. I was driving my car, and he said, "Well, I, I got to hurry up. I'm getting ready to go to mass." And I almost, you know, got in a car accident. I was kind of like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> mass, it's it's Friday. What are you doing going to Mass? Yeah, he doesn't go to Mass uh, right. on Fridays. Yeah. Right, right. And it was just, uh, that just really struck me. So I was so excited I came told my wife. And then uh, that was another one. Then that evening, um, I had another friend that I'd been praying for quite a bit. And um, it was a run-in with the law that, that came. Um, and I won't go into the details, but um, this just say, this person's life came to a grinding halt. Um, this person is facing some very serious consequences now. Right. Um, and uh, uh, but immediately, I just knew that this was what, you know. And and, and he came to me, and we, we talked. And um, immediately after that, when I saw it, I just knew. I said, "This is divine mercy." And um, and his, you know, we had a conversation very shortly after that, and sat down, and he just kind of poured everything out and said, "This is." Uh, my life has been going for 10 years, crazy, and, and this week came to a grinding halt, and now I'm, I, I have nowhere to turn but to go back to the Eucharist and sit in, in prayer and adoration, and so I just, um, you know, this was uh, somebody, again, I've been praying with for quite a while. Um, and that was, I think, the fifth, um, and then the, kind of to top it off, um, and at my, my sister uh, calls me now. I'm, she's been reading the, the uh, books and has come back uh, deeper into her faith through the volumes and, and, um, and started to be able to pray the rosary. And, and she hadn't been able to do that before. Um, and uh, she, she says, you know, uh, there's, there's one other person this week, I'm not going to share with you who it is, but it's somebody in our family that something has started happening uh, dramatic that is bringing, and I can't tell you what it is, um, it's private, but it's going to have an impact on their life, and it is having an impact. And it seems like it's another one just right after, coincidentally, yes. you came back from the Abbey. Yes. And I kind of thought of that. It was finally sitting down reflecting with my wife by then, I mean, six of those, like any one of those was... Would have been enough. Right. But six of them in the <laughs> yeah. same week, it yes. was just like, this is a, too many coincidences happening here. 